Good news guys, XRP has maintained an upward trajectory on its yearly chart, with a 48% appreciation this year despite the recent setbacks on shorter time frames. By the way, is the US SEC right to have accused Ripple of prolonging litigation to continue selling XRP? Finally, Wall Street financial expert Linda Jones recently shared with the crypto community how non-accredited investors can buy shares of Ripple before the firm's eventual public offering, and I will be reviewing those with you. Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on the 15th of September. The market-wide turmoil has not spared XRP, as the asset has forfeited the gains picked up on July 13th. However, despite this setback, XRP maintains an upward trajectory on the yearly chart, with a 48% increase this year. XRP community figure Alex Cobb first called attention to this reality amid the waning bullish sentiments. Cobb shared a chart detailing XRP's yearly price movements from 2013 to 2023. A zoomed-out view of XRP's yearly performance over the past decade reveals an impressive growth exhibited by the asset. The view unveils an upward trajectory for XRP since January 2013. Notably, XRP closed 2013 with a massive 366% gain. However, the asset faced a correction over the next three years, shedding over 86% of its value from 2014 to 2016. However, XRP sustained some of the gains of 2013. XRP's breakthrough period came up in 2017 when it surged by an astronomical 33,000% rate. XRP eventually closed 2017 at $1.99, having begun the year at $0.0067. The asset built on the 2017 rally to hit the $3.32 in January 2018. Nonetheless, following these bullish performances, XRP started facing fluctuations. An attempt to register a new all-time high during the bull market of 2021 met opposition due to the legal pressure from the SEC lawsuit. Despite the impediment, XRP sustained a momentum to the upside. The asset's recent upsurge has complemented this momentum. Remarkably, XRP is up 48% since January 1, 2023, securing a spot among the biggest gainers this year. XRP outperforms other prominent crypto assets such as Ethereum, Cardano, BNB, and Dogecoin. For context, Ethereum sees a 36% gain this year, while ADA is only up 3.5%. BNB and Doge are down 12% and 9% this year. This outlook is significant because it details XRP's bullish momentum when zoomed out. The recent correction from the 93 cents high has damaged investor confidence. Cobb's disclosure aims to strengthen optimism in XRP's long-term prospects. Upon observing the yearly chart, another XRP community figure asserted that the asset is on the verge of a rally. In response, Cobb agreed with this sentiment. XRP is currently trading for $0.47, cents, down 1.27% over the past week. Furthermore, as reported, the SEC has filed its memorandum reply brief supporting its motion to certify an interlocutory appeal in the Ripple case. In the filing, the SEC claims that while it has an institutional interest in efficiently resolving the case, Ripple has a different goal. It is worth noting that the recent filing is a reply memorandum in which the SEC requests certification for an appellate review in its legal tussle against Ripple. The SEC respectfully requests certification for appellate review now because the issues raised by the court's order on summary judgment present precisely the kind of knotty legal problems that led Congress to provide for interlocutory review, it said. Moreover, the securities regulator accused Ripple of seeking to prolong the legal tussle in order to continue selling XRP to the public markets. Recall that the court ruled on July 13th that Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP and other distributions do not constitute securities. The SEC, which has expressed disappointment with the decision, said the order poses legal questions. 
Nonetheless, the SEC accused Ripple of having no institutional interest in efficiently resolving the lawsuit. It added that Ripple and its execs seek to prolong the litigation to continue selling XRP to the public. To justify its request to stay further proceedings in the lawsuit, the SEC said the decision would help preserve the resources of the parties and that of the court. Consequently, the SEC asks the court to grant its motion for interlocutory appeal and stay further proceedings of the case until the appeal has been fully resolved. They, defendants, seek to prolong this litigation, as they have already promised to do, presumably so that they may continue selling XRP into public markets, as they tacitly admit, the SEC noted. Interestingly, it is ironic that the SEC is accusing Ripple of seeking to prolong the lawsuit when it has been the one using delay tactics throughout the litigation. As reported earlier, Ripple highlighted the SEC's delay tactics during the legal tussle for the drafts of William Hinman's controversial speech. It is common knowledge that the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit still has unresolved issues, especially the Commission's case against Ripple execs Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. However, in its motion to certify an interlocutory appeal, the SEC asked the court to stay further proceedings of the lawsuit until the resolution of the appeal. Notably, the court has already scheduled the case for a trial by Q2 2024. Therefore, if the court grants the SEC's request for a stay of further proceedings, the trial will be postponed until the interlocutory appeal is completely resolved. The move would further delay the resolution of the lawsuit. Meanwhile, the SEC's latest filing has stirred reactions from top crypto stakeholders, including Ripple's chief legal officer Stuart Alderity. Reacting, Alderity described the SEC's filing as a hypocritical pivot. In a tweet on Saturday, Alderity said despite SEC Chair Gary Gensler claiming that crypto rules are clear and must be obeyed, the Commission is now saying that an appeal is urgently needed to resolve these knotty legal problems in the Ripple case. Meanwhile, XRP and Ripple enthusiasts have taken to the X platform to react to the SEC's accusation against Ripple. In a tweet yesterday, Ripple's on-demand liquidity developer Neil Hartner seemed astonished by the SEC's claim. Furthermore, an XRP enthusiast described the SEC's argument as classical. Now to the big question of the day, how can non-accredited investors buy Ripple stock pre-IPO? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. In a recent post, Jones noted that Linkto has unveiled a special package for people who could not pass the accredited investor requirement to invest in Ripple stock. The offer is called Reg D. The sole aim is to allow non-accredited investors to acquire Ripple shares pre-IPO. Jones noted it is a limited offering, urging the community to act fast. According to the update, the Linkto offering commences this week, particularly on Monday or Wednesday. The intending buyers of Ripple shares are to prepare a minimum investment of $5,000. The first step involves registering an account on the Linkto platform. For the next step, Jones stated that intending buyers should move their funds to the Uphold platform and store the amount in US dollars. The maximum amount transferable through Uphold to Linkto is $2,499 a day. After the fund movement, Jones stated that Linkto would verify such a user. The third step involves moving the $2,499 from Uphold into Linkto through the Linkto application. Given Uphold's transfer limit, Jones urged interested persons to take action immediately. It is worth mentioning that the essence of sending the fund to Uphold before subsequently sending it to Linkto is to expedite the process of fund confirmation. Interested persons not pleased with such multiple steps can directly send from their bank accounts to Linkto. However, Jones highlighted that the process may take up to three days before the beneficiary's account is credited. Regardless, for the fourth step, the interested individuals are to watch the Linkto app or their email for a message on Monday. The last timeline for the email message is Wednesday, September 13th. By that date, the Ripple stock will be available for acquisition. While the option for wire transfer to Linkto is also available, Jones cautioned that the stock could sell out before the fund confirmation. Meanwhile, the Wall Street expert disclaimed that the announcement does not constitute financial advice. She urged participants to assess their risk tolerance level properly before proceeding. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. 
Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.